Hey everybody, Greg here, and this is another video in the series of videos about bicycle trails in the Iowa City, Corville, North Liberty area. And this trail segment is going to go from the New Pioneer Co-op in Corville, which you can see over here, and we're going to work our way um, from here heading east. We're going to go over to the Peninsula neighborhood, and to do that we're going to head through the parking lot. You want to be careful, there are a lot of little businesses in here, a lot of cars coming and going and they may not be expecting, you know, bicycle riding through. But we're going to work our way through this parking lot and head over to 5th Street in Coralville. And if you navigate this correctly, you can stay on your bike. And go through this archway and make your way over to 5th. So depending on how busy it is in the street or on the sidewalk, you may want to choose your path accordingly. We're going to turn right. And for today, I'm just going to enjoy the shade, stay on the sidewalk and be alert to pedestrians. I'm going about four miles an hour, so not much faster than somebody walking. I'll point out that blue bus that's going by in the distance there. That uh, blue bus is part of the Coralville transit system. And that serves the Coralville area and also goes downtown to Iowa City. There's a really exceptional public transit system in this area. You have the Coralville public transit system, the Iowa City public transit system, and the University of Iowa public transit system, which is um, free. It's called the CAM bus. So the uh, Iowa City public transit system has racks on the front of the buses for bicycles. Usually it can handle, accommodate two bicycles. So that's, that's a good thing to remember. If you're, you know, riding in the morning and maybe it starts to rain and you want to just catch a bus, you can do that. Fifth Street here, as you can see, does get kind of busy. Sometimes there's not room between the cars and the sidewalk. So I tend to uh, just go ahead and navigate to the sidewalk as much as possible. However, if you're on this narrower sidewalk, as you can see, sometimes the cars pull kind of far forward and so you want to be careful not to get into a bind there. It's also possible to get up onto that wider sidewalk. But as you can see here with cars and buses, riding in the street isn't always convenient. And when you're uh, getting closer to the buildings here, you can take advantage of the shade Today is August 8th, 2017. The sun's in the southern sky a little bit. We're far, far enough into the summer. And so we get a bit of some shade along in here, which is nice. It's not so hot today, but on the warmer days, it makes a big difference. So we're gonna make our way along here and then take the this ramp back onto the normal sidewalk.
But as you can see, uh, the city of Corville has done quite a good job of renovating this whole area of the city, this 5th Street stretch. There's a, a nice sidewalk on both sides, north and south side of this street. Again, we're heading east. And the housing along here, I have not pointed it out, but it's a combination of sort of townhouses, traditional single family residential, and uh, apartments. So, a lot to choose from if you were deciding to live in this area. The, uh, this spot where we're entering into is referred to as the Old Town of Coralville. There's an 1876 schoolhouse here. And then across the street, you can see there was a relocation of the Old Town Hall. I'm going to zoom in on that sign. So there's, uh, there's the old town hall of Florida. And it makes a, you know, a nice uh, old town square here. I'm just gonna, since there are no cars here, I'm gonna dip down into this area and give you a bit of a view. There's the schoolhouse, this waterway, which is a little bit uh, overgrown right now with some algae, but normally it's quite nice. And then, while there was a ramp on one side, there's just regular sidewalk here. So I'm gonna lift the bike up. And just wanted to show you, there's a trail over here on the north side of Fifth. And in one of my videos, I will uh, probably highlight that. It's a dead end trail. It goes, you know, maybe five, ten minutes, depending on your pace, heads north from here. But it's really quite nice. It winds around through a residential area and ends up in a park. And then along this waterway, you can see there is uh, a sidewalk or a trail. It's quite wide. And that works its way down and around and over to the... Uh, a bridge, an underpass, where you can ride under First Avenue. So I'm going to continue on east here. A lot of nice landscaping that was done by the city, you can see here. More of these uh, housing options, these look like townhouses. I don't know if those are for sale or rent. Looks like print. Now we're at 3rd Avenue and 5th Street. And quite a few more of those apartments, it looks like, heading that way, heading south of 5th. And um, you know, if there were a lot of people walking on this sidewalk, I probably would have gone into the street. You know, I, I tend to ride based on what's going on in the moment. So if, if there's less traffic and more pedestrians, I'll take the street. If, if it's the other way around, I'll take the sidewalk. There are some areas, uh, well, particularly downtown Iowa City, where bicycling on the street or on the sidewalk um, is prohibited and you can get a ticket for that so you do want to obey any posted signs and here is the uh, sort of at the east end 
of Old Town Corvo is the marker that welcomes you. So it's a, you know, a few blocks that's designated the Old Town. We're approaching First Avenue. I'm, I'm crossing Second Avenue. You can see on the sign there is a short little segment at this point. There's a small business, food, restaurant area here at this uh, intersection of 5th Street and 1st Avenue. And the landmark that we're coming up on, which is the starting point for many of these videos, is the Iowa River Power Restaurant. If you were in the street, you could go ahead and follow the traffic signal and cross when you have your turn. Although I tend to find that the intersections are a little more protected for pedestrian crossing, right? So if I go ahead and push the button, I get a walk light. And so there's no question about whether or not I have the right of way. And then here we see the numbered countdown, which is nice. It tells you how many seconds you have left before it's no longer uh, you know, safe to cross the street. So here we are entering the Iowa River Power parking lot. And um, because this video is a point to point video, I'm gonna just keep recording straight through, but I will point out a couple of things here. There is a, a little ramp up onto the sidewalk, and if you go to the right of those stairs, you can head around by the river and head south from here, so that's good to know about. And what I'm doing is heading down here north through the parking lot and I'm going to just ride up onto the curb here. This sign is uh, illustrative of you know this point being so significant for cycling because you have routes that go north, south, east, and west from here. And in some of the videos which uh, are posted, you can find links to those um, below you can go north, south, east, west and follow those videos. But again, since this is a point to point video from New Pioneer Co-op all the way over to the Peninsula neighborhood, I'm just going to keep going. There's a nice view of this dam area and spillway from here. And you can imagine how uh, it's quite nice to be eating at Iowa River Power and looking out over the river. So that's why that's a popular dining spot. We're going to continue on across this bridge. Continuing east. If we look to our left, that's north. Interstate 80 is just up there beyond the, beyond the horizon. Looking south, we can see the river winding on down. some outcroppings for people that want to get a better view of the river. Sometimes you have people fishing from there. And occasionally to the left you'll see this spillway is 
overflowed with water, but today it's dried up. to the right here, but I'll point out that there is a, a little trail that's used to get to the spillway area, and also there's a trail that heads back into the woods there. But continuing to the right, we're now basically heading a little bit south. And in just a few minutes, we'll be at the dog park. I'll point out this turn to the left is in a short distance, it dead ends at a service junction box. It looks like for electrical or something. The trail continues on straight but we're going to turn left and head up to the Peninsula neighborhood. The sign here says Foster Road and the Waterworks area. You can see this is a really spacious dog park. This road that we're approaching, this is Foster Road. It dead ends at the Thornberry Dog Park, which I'll go ahead and give you a close up of that sign. So there's the sign at the entryway to the dog park. There's plenty of parking and lots of options for dogs to enjoy. So I'm going to head on up the hill here. Um, normally I don't cross this street. I stay on the sidewalk and I just go straight up the hill. But today I wanted to uh, show you that sign. So that's where we came from. And then we're just going to continue on up this hill. The building in front of us is one of several large, I, I think it's an apartment or condo building. This incline, it's probably uh, not easy to tell in the video, but this is pretty steep. And uh, holding the video camera with one hand, riding with the other, gets uh, a little bit tough. So there's some uh, construction that's getting completed here. You can see the sidewalk close sign. But we want to turn right anyway. And here you can see you know, building after building on the right. Building, right 
and then on the left there are more uh, what appear to be more traditional homes <clears throat> Now we could have stayed on Foster Road. You can see it in the distance there at the end of the block, but um, we're kind of riding parallel to Foster. And then when this street dead ends, comes to a T intersection, you'll turn left. And that will take you into the town square. You'll find uh, plentiful bicycle parking. And this is basically the town square of the Peninsula neighborhood. And if you're looking for a nice spot to stop, take a break, cool off, get some food, you'll see the Dingo Bar there in the distance is a great destination. So um, in the other videos, I have uh, instructions on how to get from here in the Peninsula neighborhood to other destinations in the Iowa City, Coralville, North Liberty area. So you can just kind of click those. They'll, you'll find them in the description below. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, or special requests. Be happy to take care of those. So have a great day.